Hey, do you want to figure out how to run uh, a website on Azure? You know, like say WordPress or just, you know, even a standard HTML website, an ASP site. We're going to get you there in just a few minutes. We're going to assume you know virtually nothing and take you all the way through very quickly because it's just not that hard. So the first thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is rip off to Azure.com and get the free $200 credit. And to do that, all you need is an account. They'll just give it to you. So we're going to save the time of showing you that. But it's straightforward. And then after you've got your account, just surf off to portal.azure.com and sign in. Now, I've already signed in, so I'm skipping a step here just to make it a little bit faster. We're actually going to start off showing you WordPress uh, because it's easier than actually running just a basic website. So let's show you how to do that. Uh, and we're going to do this all completely for free. So if you're just playing around or trying to learn, just do what we do and you'll get through it. So click create a resource in the top left hand corner, type WordPress. And you'll notice in here, there's a ton of these. In fact, there's five, yeah, five pages of these. It just goes on and on and on. So the one we want is the first one here, but I'll explain what these other ones are. So let's, let's click on, uh, it doesn't make a difference. Let's click on this one, one at the far side here. And you think, Okay, I don't really understand what the difference is between this and the other ones, but I'll show you really quickly. When you click plans and pricing, it says, well, the software is kind of free, but the Azure cost is there. Okay, what does that mean? So we click create, and you'll see it's actually gonna set up a whole virtual machine, not what we want. So just go back home and create a resource. Select the first one. And the key difference here is that is on the app service, which means it's running in a container. If you don't understand containers, don't worry about it. The, the principle is that instead of virtualizing hardware like we used to do, it's also virtualizing the operating system. If you don't understand that, don't worry about it. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner here if you want to learn a little bit more about containers in sort of plain English. Okay, let's get on with it. So click on WordPress, click create, and we can go through these, but there's nothing here. Uh, so just click create. And you need to have a subscription. What subscription is it? Okay, well, I'm using the free subscription and you can too. You can create a new resource. Website RG1. How's that? Simple. There we go. Uh, now, where do you want it to be living? You can see that there's a lot of different places around the world and you want it fairly close to where it's going to be consumed. If it's going to be consumed all around the world, you're going to want to also use a content delivery network, a CDN as it's called. Microsoft has a CDN, but you can also just use Cloudflare. Or if you're really small, don't worry about it. It'll still work fine in other places. So I will choose West US because that's closer to where I am. And what do we want to call this? URTech test site. And then the site will come up as URTechTestSite.AzureWebsites.net. We'll show you how to alias that to a real domain name in just a moment. Okay, click next for tags. Tags are just for categorizing your bills and things. Don't worry about it if you're new to this. I have an error message. Well, why is that? Let's click on this and it says, great, in the region that I selected, there isn't anything available. Okay. That's obnoxious, let's go back. For the sake of expediency here, I'm gonna go back to central US because I know that works. And if you're interested, you can see that Microsoft has a lovely table telling you, you know, depending on this, the country, the region you're in, where the data centers actually are. So for instance, East US is in Virginia, close enough to Washington DC. You can scroll through and see the differences. Okay, I'm not interested. We're just gonna blow through here and choose Central US. Let's click Review and Create. Bingo, estimated price is free. That makes me happy. Create. Now this takes about 10 minutes to create. I'm not gonna waste your time watching this page populate. We'll be back when this is done. Great, so deployment results. If you sat here, you'd watch all of these items get built. Uh, you don't need to understand them. So just click Go to Resource. And we're gonna walk you through this and you'll be amazed at how straightforward this actually is. I mean, Azure is a behemoth. 
It does so many things, but if you just focus on your little slice, it's gonna be okay. So you might rem remember that I said it's going to use this address, urtechtestsite.azurewebsites.net. So let's just see if that's working. Now, uh, this is actually going to kick off the balance of the WordPress install. English US, site title, UR Tech Big Test Site. Username. I normally use an email address here. I'm going to put in my garbage test account for this. You need to know this password. So you can either change it or copy it. I'm just going to copy it. Email address. I'm just going to pop that in. And you can create a robots.txt file just by clicking this, which will tell search engines and other bots to not bother. I'm not going to bother doing that because I'm actually going to delete the site right away and I don't want to have it screwed up in any way. I want you to see exactly how it would work if you were doing this in production. Click install WordPress, like login, my email address, complex password. I'm going to select remember me, which you generally not do, but I'm going to for the sake of this demonstration. Hey, this is not a WordPress class, so I'm going to speed through a couple of things just to prove to you that it's a real live actual WordPress site. Then I'm going to go back to Azure and show you the SQL backend and a few other things that you probably want to know. All right, so you get the idea? It's a real WordPress site. Okay, enough of WordPress. Let's go back to Azure. Interested in the pricing? Under settings, there's scale up. Click on that. And in the top left-hand corner, it's going to give you a price in just a second. And it's gonna tell you this is free. And you can see you don't get a lot. 60 minutes of compute, that's not 60 minutes of use. 60 minutes of compute time is actually a fair amount for a very small production site. You might actually be able to operate on that completely for free if you're small. A hobby site, certainly a test site will work on it. Then you can scale up to a D1, B. What are all of these things? I don't understand. Okay, well, let's just show you. Here they are, free and shared, all right? So here's the free one that we're on, 60 minutes of CPU a day, gig of RAM, gig of storage, free. D1 gets you a lot more CPU nothing else. And it's, you know, it's a penny an hour. So not a lot. Then you start moving up. This is where it gets expensive. Okay. Enough said, you get the idea. That's how you change it. Something you really should turn on and it's free is called the health check. And you can scroll through here and you can find it. It's probably under monitoring. Yeah, it's right there, but there's a lot of stuff in here. And if you're new to this, it's a bit overwhelming. So just type it in at the top. Just type in health. There you go. Health check. Health check is free. Turn it on. Basically, it's going to monitor your site, try to fix it with some automatic stuff. If that doesn't work, it'll restart it. And here you just put in your uh, website, get rid of the HTTP. Save, yeah. A couple of other quick things to look at before we move on to the next category here, which is MySQL. Scroll down until you see console. There it is right there, development tools, console. And it gets you to a command prompt. So if you need to do something, it's there. And while you can see this is actually running on a Windows server, as opposed to the usual Linux server, it is running MySQL. If you want to run this on real SQL, as I like to call it, the full T-SQL Microsoft SQL server, it's going to cost some money. MySQL works fine. So let's click on MySQL in app here. And you can see there's a little bit of data, but it's really not what you're looking for. You want all of the MySQL stuff. Well, where do you get that? Well, no problem. Just go back to home and Type in MySQL, and there it is, Azure Databases for MySQL Servers. Click on that. There it is, UR Tech Test Site. Click on it. And you can play with MySQL configuration and settings via Azure to your heart's content. If everything goes well, you'll never need to touch it. Click on Home. And something you really want to check is billing. So go to the top, type in billing and you'll get a billing analysis. There it is, cost management billing. Click on that. Now in my case, I have a bunch of other stuff in here that I'm using in this test environment. Your cost should be pretty close to zero, if not completely zero for the test we've run so far. This advisor is actually useful. Uh, it may not be great for what we're doing here in this test, but if you're running virtual machines and things, it'll say, hey, why don't you shut them off overnight and things like that? So I've got cost analysis here. Yeah, so I'm paying for virtual machines and things like that. 
in US West. I mean, these are, yeah, this is all unrelated to what we've just done today. Okay, let's go back to home, off to our website. I'm gonna rip through a few of these settings just so you can see them. They're self-explanatory. Access control. This is pretty handy if you're not dealing with websites. With websites, you probably want everybody to have access to some degree. But if you're dealing with virtual machines and things, this is, pretty, this is one of the ways you can lock it down. And the last important thing we're gonna show you here is how to change that address. So let's, that URL. So let's go back to overview and you'll see it's this sort of trash address. You are tech test site at Azure websites.net. That's actually not horrific, but yeah, most people are not gonna want that. So if you wanted to point a real domain name here, like you are tech.ca or Jimmy's house of pizza.com or whatever it is, what you're looking for is custom domains. So if you can't find it here, don't worry, just do a search. As I said before, custom, there it is, custom domains. In here, what you would do is you'd probably turn HTTPS only on because you want it to be HTTPS only. And you can set in here, normally there's a custom domain button up here. Now you're looking to say, well, there isn't now. What do I do now? Well, that's because you're on the free subscription. So if you weren't on the free subscription, you could do that. And then all you would do, type or paste in the name of the domain that you own. And then there is one more change you need to make if you want to use a custom domain. I could simply create a C name, but let's just do it. It's only going to take two seconds here. You'd add a record. It's a C name, canonical name. And you want to paste in the garbage address from Microsoft. Click save and you're on your way. Let's go to votematthews.com and see what comes up. My guess is it'll be a big blue error page. Yeah, there we go. That tells you you're getting to an IIS server. It tells you right here it's Azure. So you're getting to the right place, but because you're on the free service, you're not eligible to set it up. Okay, now just for completeness, what we're going to do is go over how to set up a non-WordPress website, just a standard base HTML site. This is very fast. Basically, you set up storage, click on website, upload your files. So let's do it. Let's go to storage. We want to create some new storage. I'm using the free subscription, default resource group. You could use any resource group you want, create another one, doesn't make any difference. Call it something, select a region. We've already explained regions. Performance, standard is fine, especially for a test site like this. We don't need geo redundant. That means if the data center that Microsoft is housing this in blows up, it's stored somewhere else, don't need that. We'll just have two copies in the same data center because it's cheap. Now we can rip all the way through this, but I'm just going to click review and create. Validation passed, create. Okay, that took about a minute, which we cut out. So just click go to resource. And you can look through here for static website, or you can just search. So yeah, we're pretty close to done, by the way. <laughs> click enabled. What is the default page? I'm going to call it index.html. What happens when you have a 404 or a mistyped address? You can create an error page. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna click save. Congratulations, there's your website. So how do you get files into it? Not very hard. Click on the dollar web link. Use anything you want from Expression Web, which is free from Microsoft, through to free online web builders, whatever. Build your site. So in this case, I'm simply going to title this page This is a very bad web page. Upload your files. Bingo, you got a site. Grab your address. Let's go take a look. Ah, that's because my file is index.html, not index. So let's go here, index.html, save. 
There it is. There is our very bad web page. Told you it was easy. So that's a very quick example of how you'd set up a basic web page on Azure. Hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like. Very much helps with Google algorithms. Subscribe, super appreciated. And hey, leave a comment below. We'll get back to you where somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.